quick review on um, the Bear Grylls Gerber Machete because um, street artist asked on YouTube so this is the review for you street artist right um, yeah it's alright it's a decent tool it's um, for what it is I mean it's only 30-40 quid I think so well, I say only 30-40 quid but it's pretty much worth that money I would say but yeah you have this um, rubberized handle it can be detached by these star screws I don't think you'd need to though I'm, that is, goes all the way through the tang there I'm fairly sure so if it ever broke, I don't know if they spurt, sell spare handles or what but yeah it's an option got a little y lanyard on the back there which actually doesn't fit all the way around if you want to do that loop around like that grip uh, or that way so I mean maybe if you've got smaller hands than me it might work but best way with this specific lanyard is just to put it through your wrist uh, or you could just take it off and put your own one on which I may well do at some point but it's fine at the minute um, the sheave has these little survival instructions on the back I say survival instructions It's these are signals uh, ground to air distress could come in handy if you needed them to uh, signal it's got alpine rescue ground to air yeah I mean you know it's a good idea to put it on the back it also comes with some survival instructions which you could slide in there but I've, I think actually I've kept a copy of them for my survival kit yes I did I put it in my survival kit say a copy I kept that um, and then you have on the back here oh, pesky cat again and then on the back here you have a carabiner now I just hook that carabiner onto my belt and then this hangs off of my belt rather than putting that through my belt and having to take my belt on and off every time I want to because you know you don't well I don't have this on constantly when you're sitting in your hammock or whatever you want to take this off but the good thing is if you have that carabiner on your belt it swings around in your hammock so you sit down and you just swing your thing off the side but yeah I mean it's not a, it's not a bad sheet for the money it's got pop catches here so And your blade, Tony, bugger off when your uh, when your blade is in there. You, you can even you could just leave that velcro on if you're using it quickly around camp. You can't see on the move. Take the velcro off, slide the prang out, or for a more solid fix. It's a bit hard to do it to keep it in the camera angle. You. Uh, you pop your poppers down. And that's in that's in there pretty solid, I mean. It's not the best, gotta be honest, but it's in there at the end of the day. Now yeah, that's the only fixing as well there. Because I'm sort of said something about a vertical belt loop on the advert, or maybe I read that wrong somewhere, or I saw it somewhere, but it doesn't, you've got that. But that's good enough for my needs around my shelter and whatever. The only thing I don't love about it is the BG all over it. You know, we know it's Bear Grylls. I don't know if there's any need for that bright orange as well. But they're supposed to be survival tools, so orange is good. I prefer dark colours in the woods myself, so if anyone's walking past, you don't stand out like a sore thumb. But, you know, you're not going to lose that in the snow with that bright orange, and at night time it's going to be easier to find. And then to the actual blade itself... It's a beast. Now this wouldn't you wouldn't go wrong with this in the jungle. Not that I've ever trekked through the jungle, but I've been in the jungle and I know it's thick. Um, and you need something big to, or just carrying away brush around your camp. It does, it's a really good chopping tool, but because it's quite a thin, thin blade. I haven't got any of the details with me, which if I'm going to do a review on something, I probably should have had, but there you go. But I would say that's probably about a quarter of an inch thick.
probably about half a mil, half a centimetre, 50 mil thick. So obviously, and then with this rubber handle takes up a lot of the shock, but when you're chopping with that, you do, you do feel quite a bit of shock. It's a different feeling to an axe or a thicker parang or my pot belly knife, which is thicker, where you don't really feel as much shock. But with this, you do feel some vibrations. But it's where you draw the line. I mean, it's depends if you're chopping logs with this, you're going to feel the vibrations. If you're chopping brush with this, or you're using it in the jungle to chop, you know, through thin, wet vines or whatever, then it's probably perfect for that. But it still is really sharp. You have a massive cutting edge on it, and it is good for chopping wood. I'll show you, and I've sharpened this as well. You can see I've sharpened it a few times, and I just use my axe file sharpen this it's not as sharp as it come because I think I need to sharpen it again at the minute the, now the black marking has come off a bit there where I've sharpened it but like I said I've used the file so you can expect that ain't you but yeah you could hold it right up close like this you'd have to be careful but for for feathering this is a bit of fat wood I'm drying out harvested the other day hopefully it's going to be a decent bit yeah it's good for that uh, I can't really chop it on this toe uh, yes I can Some chops in there. Uh, I'll probably, when I take this to the woods with me next time, I'll show it in proper style. I mean, to be honest, you could, it's so such a beast, you could probably use it two handed if you wanted to. But it is a good tool for the money, and if you're looking for a prang, I think it's spot on. Just be nice if it was slightly bit thicker, but then it wouldn't do its machete job as well. It's difficult. Well, it's exactly what you want it for. Machetes aren't the best thing for chopping logs, really. Although they are good for it, they're not. They're more for thinner things. Like they're designed for the jungle, obviously, as everyone knows. But people have started using them for wood and stuff. So, but I think, like, like my potbelly knife, or you've got, which I've never tried or tested or anything. John Lofty Wiseman's survival knife, and uh, I can't remember the name of the other one. Chris Kane. I'm not sure who that is, but he makes a knife, and I've seen it reviewed on YouTube and. They've got a fairly thicker tang to take up, a thicker blade to take up that, to absorb the strikes a bit more. But yeah, for what it is, I think it's a very good tool for the money. Comes razor sharp. I've got to sharpen this up again a bit. But yeah, I'll try and do a video in the field with it as well. But yeah. Hopefully that satisfies your question, street artist. Alright mate, see you later.